So hello and welcome to Coastal Crafts. I feel like um, there's no room here today because I have this really big package um, and I'm going to show you. So I've had a bit of a look inside because I have no willpower, um, but I haven't looked very closely or opened all the little packages. This is from Antonio, from Antonio Makes. I can link his channel below. Um, so he reached out to me on Instagram and said about doing a swap. So we've done a pocket letter swap. Um, yeah, let's see what kind of crafty goodness comes inside. So it's come in this gorgeous little pig box. We'll keep it safe. Um, and also wrapped in some construction paper. So let's move that out of the way. So first of all, here's the, the lovely card. It's very, you know, classy and classic. I have to say, I don't, wouldn't say I recognise any of the stamps or dies to be able to tell you what he's used. Um but very nice that grateful for you is really nice isn't it that's a lovely um just a lovely font there a really pretty card so i'll pop that there and that was the envelope we put it in warning contains pretty things and let's move the paper out of the way so he has done me and i i do believe and i opened this up before that this was on here and unfortunately as I've said before stuff doesn't come stuff comes through the post like it's been through the wars um it's this bit come off but I believe it goes there and I'm going to stick it back on later and it's oriental which is lovely I did send um Antonio mine and was saying about how much I love everything oriental at the moment you know I wanted to go to Korea and then then there was a pandemic which slightly got in the way but look how nice are these papers really unique could well be like Japanese or something like that. I don't know. Full of lots of little packages. So um, I will have to pop this aside. Um, but we will sort that one out later. Let's have a look at some of these little envelopes. Because each one says, warning, contains pretty things. But the problem is, is I don't want to damage any of them. So I'm going to have to try and open them very carefully. Which appears to be easier said than done, doesn't it? So we will quickly... Think of a solution. Your trusty Tim Holtz scissors. It's always a solution to every problem. That's what I would say to the children. So inside, look at this. Wow. It's a load of um, stamps. Look at those. This makes me think I need to do something like a, a junk journal. They're really interesting, aren't they? That one appeals to me. Look at them. Lots and lots. That's pretty as well, isn't it? Lovely. Wow, that's really different. I'm going to put that with some of my other sort of vintagey things and um, that I sort of collect up and then <laughs> haven't quite managed to do anything with it. Now, I'm trying to think what the better way of doing this is, possibly going for the top because I want to be able to put the bits back because I keep all my pocket letters together. So let's have a look. Whoa, I shouldn't have tipped that out like that because <laughs> they've gone everywhere. Lots of gorgeous little brads. They're so pretty, aren't they? But now they've gone everywhere. This is my chaos. Let's have a just look at a couple of them. There we go. Really nice. And they could be like centres to flowers as well. So we'll pop that down there. I will now learn my lesson about being extra careful. So he's done all the envelopes looking really cute. This one feels like this end might be the best bet it's like christmas isn't it we get happy now <laughs> ah, wow that is not easy to open here we go fall in love oh they're like a pair of earrings aren't they obviously not a pair of earrings they're, they're a pair of brads they remind me of a pair of earrings i don't even have my ears pierced so um <laughs> i'm one of these odd people how cute are they Let's put that one down there. So then we come in here. And I'm starting to think, can I do a better job? Probably not, this is me we're talking about. You've got to be very careful because you don't want to damage anything. Oh, look at these. España. Very religious. It's really interesting, isn't it? Seeing things like this. I know when we were in... Um, Monterey over in America we went into um one of the antiques malls which was I absolutely loved it it's brilliant but it had all sorts of kind of vintagey things like this so 
you, but now I can't get them back in the pack here. <laughs> they can just sit there. I like to create chaos and then tidy it up at the end of the situation. This one, I won't tip them all out because I've learnt my lesson on that. It's full of lots of coloured pegs. Look at that. They're great for making um, embellishments, which is what I keep saying. I really want to make loads of embellishments. I have started, but um, it takes a lot longer than you think. So I want to sit down. Maybe this weekend I'll have time to sit down and do something like that. Look at these loads of gems. So they will get transferred into a nice little pot to keep them in. Look at all of those. And we're coming down here. I always feel so sad when you end up with like a naked pocket letter. But it'll get put back later. We've got some really sweet buttons. I do like my buttons. I think they're very versatile, using for lots of things. I rarely put them on like sewing projects these days because you know, once you put the, the button foot on the sewing machine, it's right for lava. Ooh, butterflies. I love these ones. And the last one. Ooh, look what we've got. I won't tip them all out. Um, lots of little ladybirds. I have to say, sometimes ladybirds, and I'm talking about real ladybirds, they can freak me out a little bit. Like, they're sweet little insects, aren't they? The kids will bring them to me on their hands and things, and there's part of me that's kind of like, oh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to hold it. I don't know why. So I'll put that all back together in a minute. But you also very kindly put me some of the gifts inside. So if I pull out of this bag, I had a brief sneak peek. But look, first of all, we've got this gorgeous chipboard. Um... And I guess it would be a hanging plaque. I was looking, I think, oh, it could be a serving tray. But this is going to be for decoupaging and it could make a lovely plaque, hopefully. I could make a load of rubbish, couldn't I, if I'm not very good, but I can, I can try. So all you can do is try and then look at this. How cute is that? I think the kids at school would love that if I took that to school. I don't take a pencil case to school because I've got a million pens at school. I'll take particularly pens that I'm very attached to, um, but that could be nice for, for storing something at school. And this, I don't know why, but it smells really nice. I don't know if he's put something scented in. He's made it smell nice somehow. <laughs> I don't know. I don't understand. It smells like a scented. Maybe this is scented. No. I don't know. It just smells. You can't tell that, but I know it smells nice. Now, all these have fallen out. Loads more of the gorgeous butterflies. I love these butterflies. So, we should put them to the side. Now, this washi tape, I feel like I was looking at this on AliExpress, one very similar to this. And um, I nearly bought it, but I didn't press pie because I thought it looked like um, cherry blossoms, like oriental cherry blossoms. So, I'm quite excited to own that. I'm going to get some gorgeous ribbon around these and then some lovely papers. And these could look like nice sort of gardening papers. I do like my gardening. I've got quite a lot of gardening stuff for crafting. Those birds are sweet, aren't they? I think I recognise that collection, but I cannot think what it is called off the top of my head. Um, and then there's, lastly, there's this sweet little package here. It's nicely decorated, isn't it? And I had a brief look in this, so I know. Oh, there's more in there. Surprisingly heavy with that on the front. <laughs> so look at this. And I had to quickly open it up because when I saw it, I was like, it's macaroons. Some people say macarons. I say macaroons. Everyone else is probably right. Um, I love macaroons. Obviously, I love eating them because it's got sugar in it. But I just think they look so cute because they've got that Paris style. And I'm obsessed with Paris. I wish I could have gone to Paris again this year, but um, that's not going to happen. Look at them, they're little rubbers or erasers, if you're foreign. Um, look at that. I won't use them because I, I love macarons too much, like as rubbers. So they're going to go on display. And if you see my craft room tour, you'll know I have a lot of stuff on display. That is how I like it. Right, you go back in there. And inside here, I did open it up. I think you must have made this little box. So sweet. I don't know whether it's with a die. 
It's very neat, so it could have been with a die or we could have scored it and cut it. Time for a break and look at that. It's always time for a break, although I'm getting to go home a bit early at the moment from school, but look at that. I might, I shouldn't eat them because it's now 10 o'clock at night, but oh dear. <laughs> and then lastly, but not leastly, he's given me absolutely loads. Look at all of these to make up little bird cages. And as I said, I did have a sneak peek this morning when I got back from school and I took one of them out because I wanted to try and put it together. And then I ran out of time because um, like stuff was happening to actually finish putting it together. So now it's just sitting here, isn't it? But, um, right, I know how you do this. I've done this before, ones like this. That's not how you do it, is it? You put one of these in, then you put that, and then you push. You will be shouting at me now going, that's not how you do it. Oh my God. Something like that, and then that one clips in there. And then I don't know whether you glue that or whether you would put ribbon around it, I think, weaved in. I'm going to glue it. Um, but look, how sweet is that? And then I can decorate it and put like lots of flowers all down it. And then that could be a gorgeous little hanging. And actually, if you put some wired fairy lights in, they could hang, couldn't they? And be little birdcage fairy lights. I might have to do that. I've got some, I've got some fairy lights. They're like literally right here. So they go in like that. Yes. Actually, I can turn. I'll probably turn them on. Oh, I can't. Under a load of things. Anyway, it's beside the point. Whilst I'm unravelling this to show you it, I shall say thank you so much to Antonio. That was such a fun little swap to do. Um, make sure you go and check Antonio's YouTube channel out. And also, he is on Instagram. I believe it's Antonio makes but all his details are on his videos um, if I don't manage to link his Instagram below and yeah I shall be back soon so speak to you soon bye